Beach boy was arrested earlier today no following the stabbing of a teacher. And I'm an assistant chief constable with Gloucestershire Constabulary. Come on, just check. Thank you. Chief. Yeah, you good? Go, Go now. OK, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Assistant Chief Constable Richard O'Cone, the lead for operational policing in Gloucestershire. I'm going to read a statement about the incident in Tewkesbury this morning. Due to the fact a number of inquiries are ongoing, I hope you'll appreciate I won't be in a position to go into more detail at the end or take any further questions. Just after 9am this morning, we received a call from someone telling us about a threat to a teacher at Tewkesbury Academy. Minutes later, we received a call from the ambulance service telling us a male teacher had been stabbed in a corridor at the school. He was taken to hospital with a single stab wound and remains in a stable condition. It was initially thought that the suspect had fled the scene and hidden himself within the school grounds. Our officers, including specialist trained uh, armed police, attended and carried out a thorough search. This search was both complex and meticulous in nature as we sought to ensure there were no further injured parties, as well as seeking the arrest of the suspect. The academy was locked down and two neighbouring schools were asked to close their doors as a precaution. Specialist resources, including the National Police Air Service and plainclothes officers, were deployed to search the wider area and thanks to their efforts, the suspect was safely arrested by firearms officers in Stoke Orchard at 11 o'clock this morning. A knife was seized during that arrest. Searches have continued in order to ensure that there were no further casualties and we can now confirm that no one else was injured in this attack. At this stage, the motivation behind the attack is unclear and at this time, there is no evidence to suggest it is terrorism related. However, we are keeping an open mind while further inquiries are carried out. The suspect, a teenage boy from Tewkesbury, was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder and remains in police custody. This was clearly a very distressing incident and our thoughts are with the victim, their family and everyone impacted by what happened here at the school. We are working with the school and other agencies to ensure appropriate support is available and local people will see more police in the area over the coming days as the investigation continues. Thank you. Uh, well, that is a statement um, from Gloucestershire Constabulary outside uh, Cheapsbury Academy, uh, the school where this incident took place just after nine o'clock this morning. Um, you heard the police there saying they're keeping an open mind as to the motive behind the attack. A teenage boy from Cheapsbury arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. Let's bring in uh, Sky's Dan Whitehead, who's in Cheapsbury for us following this story. Dan. Yeah, that was an update there from Assistant Chief Constable, as you say, Richard O'Cone, uh, giving us a bit more detail as to what unfolded here. As you said, extremely upsetting uh, morning for the, the parents and the children inside the secondary school here, Tewkesbury Academy. Um, we did learn some things there, that this was a specific threat to a teacher and that the police attended just after nine o'clock uh, after hearing from ambulance crews uh, that a teacher had been stabbed in a corridor inside uh, the school. Now, we uh, heard confirmation uh, that he is in a uh, stable condition in hospital, this teacher. Um, the suspect appears to have tried to flee uh, the scene and potentially hidden on the school grounds. Um, police confirming what we've heard from some of the parents here and indeed the children, that they saw armed police officers entering the uh, academy. Uh, that was confirmed by police that uh, it was indeed armed police came. They carried out a, met a meticulous and complex search uh, while the academy was locked down and uh, they were assisted uh, by the police air service, National Police Air Service, and that there was an arrest a couple of hours later in Stoke Orchard, which is around about 10 minutes away uh, from the school here. Uh, and that a teenager was arrested at 11 o'clock and a uh, knife seen. Not uh, um, suspected to be terror-related uh, at the uh, moment. 
and that teenage boy, sorry, from Tewkesbury, so a local uh, boy, arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. An incredibly uh, upsetting uh, morning for all of those involved uh, today. We've been speaking to uh, parents who were texting their children, um, some obviously as young as 11 years old, who were being kept inside their classrooms, um, which of course would have been an incredibly distressing situation uh, for them, texting their children. Uh, it, we spoke to Sarah Penny, a mother whose uh, daughter, 13-year-old daughter in year eight, Izzy, um, was telling her mum that we're stuck in the classroom, I'm really scared, they had guns, uh, I saw armed police. And the mother, uh, Sarah, who spoke to Sky News, saying um, that the police are there and sorting it, I love you so much. Uh, when we first arrived here this morning, around an hour or so after the incident happened, there were a 100 or so parents on the opposite side of the road of the school, which is by a, a busy main road, actually only a minute or so off the M5. Uh, and as you can understand... Uh, they were extremely concerned and upset. The good news, of course, is that there were no pupils injured in this uh, incident. But when you get a note from the school, ten minutes after the school bell goes, informing you that your child's school is in lockdown, and you... Uh, I mean, the, the procedure is, of course, don't come to the school, don't call us... Um, but many parents, of course, uh, came down here. They wanted to, to find their children. And we saw uh, a very large police presence initially this morning, at least three or four ambulances. There were about eight police officers at the entrance to the school gates while it was still locked down. Now, uh, around one o'clock, the children um, were all released uh, to their parents. And um, outside the, the school gates, there were hundreds of parents pensively looking for uh, their children and lots of uh, emotional reunions. Um, as I say... Thankfully, no injuries amongst any pupils, but one of the uh, male teachers, um, uh, we understand, who hasn't been named yet, but um, from what we've heard, an incredibly popular teacher at the school. He remains in a stable uh, condition, and uh, this afternoon, a uh, teenage boy, local teenage boy, now being questioned on suspicion of attempted murder. Dan, thank you. Dan Whitehead with the latest there from Tewkesbury. Now let's return to our top story and BBC bosses having that meeting with Metropolitan Detectives today. This is the broadcaster deals with allegations that an unnamed presenter paid a teenager tens of thousands of pounds for sexually explicit images. Well, police are assessing the information, but at this moment in time...